Imagine waking up in a world where Android and Windows are no longer the default systems powering billions of devices. That world may be closer than you think. Huawei's Harmony OS has just taken a bold leap, expanding from smartphones into laptops, cars, and even industrial machines. What started as a response to US sanctions is now evolving into something much bigger, a potential new tech empire that threatens the dominance of Silicon Valley. Is this the moment China finally breaks free from American technology? Let's dive into the story behind Harmony OS and what it really means. When we talk about operating systems, most people immediately think of Google's Android or Microsoft's Windows. For decades, these two giants have defined the way billions of people interact with technology, from the phone in your pocket to the computer on your desk. But what happens when a country is suddenly cut off from both? That's exactly the situation Huawei faced after US sanctions banned American companies from supplying key technologies. Overnight, the future of Huawei's smartphones, laptops, and entire product ecosystem was put at risk. Without Android, how do you sell a phone? Without Windows, how do you compete in laptops? At first, many experts believed this was the end of Huawei as a global tech leader. But instead of collapsing, Huawei doubled down on self-reliance. The company launched Harmony OS, a brand new operating system designed not just to replace Android and Windows, but to connect every kind of device under a single unified ecosystem. From smartphones to smartwatches, from TVs to cars, Harmony OS was built to be more than just an alternative. It was designed as a symbol of independence. The origins of Harmony OS are deeply tied to geopolitics. When Washington restricted Huawei's access to Android updates and blocked Microsoft from working with the company, it wasn't only about phones and computers. It was about control over the digital future. For Beijing, this was a wake-up call. China realized that if one company could be cut off so easily, then the entire country was vulnerable. The answer was clear, build a homegrown alternative that no foreign government could take away. Harmony OS was no longer just Huawei's project. It became part of China's national strategy for technological sovereignty. And that's what makes this story so significant. Harmony OS isn't just another operating system competing for market share. It represents a broader shift in the global technology order. For the first time in decades, we're seeing the possibility of a true rival to American platforms. One that's backed not only by a major company, but also by the full support of the world's second largest economy. This is why many analysts now argue that Harmony OS is more than a survival tool. It's a weapon in the larger economic and geopolitical contest between the US and China and the timing couldn't be more critical. As tensions over semiconductors, AI, and 5G continue to escalate, the launch of Harmony OS signals China's determination to break free from dependence on Western technology. But what does this mean for the rest of the world? Can Huawei really convince users, developers, and manufacturers to embrace its vision of a unified China-led ecosystem? Or will Harmony OS remain a niche player, confined mostly to the domestic market? These are the questions investors, policymakers, and ordinary consumers are asking right now. Before we dive deeper into the economics and geopolitics of this transformation, make sure to hit that like button if you find this analysis valuable, and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next chapters of this unfolding story. If the launch of Harmony OS was born out of necessity, its growth has been driven by strategy. In just a few short years, Huawei has transformed the operating system from an emergency backup plan into the backbone of a rapidly expanding ecosystem. Today, Harmony OS powers hundreds of millions of devices, from smartphones and wearables to smart TVs and even home appliances. What makes it unique is not only the scale, but the vision. Huawei is building an ecosystem where every device speaks the same digital language. This all-scenario strategy is critical. While Android and Windows dominate their respective spaces, they often struggle to connect seamlessly across categories. Huawei saw an opportunity to create something that American tech giants never fully achieved. A unified environment where your phone, your laptop, your car, and your smart home all operate under one system. 
For consumers, this promises convenience and integration. For Huawei, it means long-term loyalty, because once a user adopts multiple Harmony OS devices, leaving the ecosystem becomes much harder. But behind this technological vision lies an economic calculation. Harmony OS isn't only about competing with Android or Windows on features, it's about creating an alternative economic sphere. Huawei, with strong backing from Beijing, is aligning its software ecosystem with China's broader goal of reducing dependence on foreign technology. By promoting Harmony OS at home, China ensures that its vast domestic market, nearly 1.4 billion consumers, becomes a foundation for growth. Even if Western markets remain skeptical, the domestic base is large enough to make Harmony OS sustainable and profitable. The numbers tell the story. Huawei reports that over 800 million devices are now running Harmony OS, and more than 2.5 million developers have joined the platform to create apps and services. These figures highlight the rapid adoption curve, particularly in China and across Asia, where Huawei's market presence is strongest. For app developers and hardware makers, aligning with Harmony OS isn't just a technical decision. It's increasingly a business necessity to tap into this massive user base. At the same time, the Chinese government is offering strong incentives. From state-owned enterprises adopting Harmony OS in industrial equipment, to local governments pushing its use in education and healthcare systems, the operating system is becoming more than a commercial product. It's part of national infrastructure. This alignment between private innovation and public policy gives Harmony OS a level of resilience and momentum that few Western rivals can match. As we'll see in the next part, this isn't just about economics. The rise of Harmony OS is reshaping geopolitics, challenging America's digital dominance, and fueling tensions that go far beyond smartphones. The rise of Harmony OS is not happening in isolation. It's unfolding against a backdrop of intensifying rivalry between the United States and China, where technology has become the new battleground. Washington views Huawei as more than just a company. It sees it as a strategic arm of Beijing's ambitions to dominate the global digital landscape. That's why the original sanctions against Huawei targeted not only hardware components like semiconductors, but also software, the very foundation of its consumer products. By cutting Huawei off from Android and Windows, US policymakers believed they could cripple one of China's most important tech champions. But the outcome has been far more complex. Instead of breaking Huawei, the sanctions forced it to innovate, accelerating China's push for technological self-sufficiency. Harmony OS is the clearest example of this unintended consequence. For the US, the fear now is that a domestic Chinese operating system could spread beyond its borders, creating a rival digital ecosystem that competes with American platforms in Asia, Africa, and even parts of Europe. The geopolitical implications are significant. Android and Windows have long been not just software, but tools of influence. When countries and companies rely on US-controlled platforms, Washington indirectly benefits from that dependence. With Harmony OS, that dynamic begins to shift. Suddenly, developing nations that have strong trade ties with China may be offered an alternative, one less tied to American oversight and political conditions. For governments wary of US dominance, that choice could be very attractive. Unsurprisingly, US officials and industry leaders have expressed concern. Google and Microsoft may not say it publicly, but a world where Harmony OS gains traction outside China is a world where their global dominance is no longer guaranteed. And it's not just about losing market share, it's about losing strategic leverage. If more countries adopt Harmony OS in government systems, education, or critical infrastructure, it would reduce America's ability to influence those digital environments. Meanwhile, Beijing has been careful to frame Harmony OS not as a weapon, but as an opportunity a chance for countries to diversify and avoid over-dependence on Western platforms. But beneath the diplomatic language lies a clear message. China intends to set its own technological standards, and it expects others to follow. In the next part, we'll explore how this shift ties into Huawei's AI and semiconductor strategy, and why NVIDIA and other Western tech giants are watching closely. If Harmony OS is the software foundation of China's digital independence, then chips and artificial intelligence are the engines driving its future. 
Huawei understands that an operating system alone cannot guarantee long-term survival. To truly challenge US dominance, Harmony OS must be tied to powerful hardware and cutting-edge AI capabilities. That's why the company has worked aggressively to develop its own processors, such as the Kirin series for smartphones, and to strengthen its high silicon division despite US restrictions. The result is an ecosystem where Harmony OS doesn't just run on Huawei devices, but is optimized for them, creating performance advantages that outsiders cannot easily replicate. This is especially evident in Huawei's integration of Harmony OS with its Ascend AI processors. By linking software and hardware tightly together, Huawei is building something closer to Apple's model of vertical integration, but on a scale that includes industrial applications, cloud computing, and even autonomous driving. Artificial intelligence is where Harmony OS becomes more than just a replacement for Android or Windows. In Huawei's vision, every Harmony OS device becomes a node in a larger AI-driven ecosystem. Your phone is not just a phone, it's part of a learning network that interacts with your car, your office, and your city. This approach turns the operating system into a platform for data collection, real-time optimization, and predictive services. Tools that can give Huawei, and by extension China, an edge in the AI race. This is why companies like NVIDIA are watching closely. For years, NVIDIA has dominated the AI infrastructure market with its GPUs powering data centers across the world. But Huawei's long-term strategy is to reduce reliance on U.S. chips by developing domestic alternatives. If Harmony OS succeeds in spreading across devices and industries, it creates massive demand for Chinese-made AI hardware. That demand, in turn, could weaken NVIDIA's role in markets where China wields influence. At the same time, Harmony OS serves as a distribution channel for Huawei's cloud and AI services, which compete directly with Microsoft Azure, Amazon AWS, and Google Cloud. For the US, this represents not only a commercial threat, but also a geopolitical one. If more countries begin adopting Huawei's AI ecosystem, America's ability to set global standards for digital infrastructure will erode. So Harmony OS isn't just a piece of software. It's a gateway into a future where China controls the full tech stack, from operating system to chips, from AI platforms to cloud computing. And that future is arriving faster than many expected. In the final part, we'll wrap up this story and ask, is this the dawn of a new tech empire? Harmony OS began as a desperate response to US sanctions, but today it stands as a symbol of something much larger, China's determination to build its own digital empire. What started as a backup plan for Huawei has evolved into a national project, backed by the full weight of Beijing's industrial policy and powered by the world's largest consumer market. For decades, the digital world was defined by two names, Android and Windows. But the arrival of Harmony OS proves that the landscape can change and that geopolitics can be just as important as innovation. The US tried to weaken Huawei, but in the process, it may have accelerated the rise of an entirely new ecosystem, one that could reshape the balance of power in global technology. The big question now is whether Harmony OS will remain mostly inside China, or whether it will spread across Asia, Africa, and beyond. If it does, the dominance of American platforms may no longer be guaranteed, and a new era of digital competition will begin. What do you think? Is this the start of a new tech empire, or just a passing experiment? Share your thoughts below, and don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more in-depth analysis.